Next speaker, Michael Chow from Dart Technology. Good morning, Chair Doe and members of the Board of Commissioners. My name is Michael Chow, founder and CEO of Dart Technologies, a Tech NYC startup member headquartered in Manhattan and software provider of passenger media solutions for mobility operators. On behalf of Dart Technologies, we strongly advocate for simplification of non-core requirements to preserve flexibility for passenger experience innovation going forward. Counter to the intent of Local Laws 33 and 56, designed to create a vibrant marketplace providing choice of licensed solutions for drivers, currently proposed rules include overly specific technical restrictions on functionality and content. Specifically, one, must, provide, must display a prologue provided by the TLC at the start of each trip. Two, at least 15% of the passenger-facing content will be comprised of TLC provided content. Three, must display reminder about the payment of a gratuity. That will likely result in no providers able to fully comply and operate innovative systems within a paradigm anchored by legacy TPEP solutions tethered to yellow taxi meters, i.e. broadcasting a single linear video loop programmatically initiated by driver starting trip via meter, which is no longer relevant in the context of four hire vehicles. Our support for removing non-core technical requirements is rooted in firsthand experience operating our iPad-based passenger media network for independent driver partners prior to the Second Circuit Court of Appeals reversal in 2019. We believe that prudent implementation of this legislation will lead to a win-win outcome for all stakeholders involved promoting economic growth, technological innovation, and an improved passenger experience. Thank you, Board of Commissioners, for considering our perspective. Did you submit written comments? Yes. All right, thank you. Any questions? Yeah, I had a question. I, I'm curious why you say that the requirement of 15% TLC content would preclude uh, this system being viable at all if you could elaborate on that yeah a so it's one out of five minutes being watched right in terms of dedicated media time uh, it reduces the overall media earning from from drivers by 15 percent or more because passengers will know that immediately when they engage with the tablet they'll get a tlc prologue followed by one out of every five or six minutes of tlc content to date, we have not seen TLC content that passengers would want to engage with. Um, and over time, you know, the diversity content, maintaining that, et cetera, it's another dependency um, that we have to work into the system. So uh, another, uh, I guess another word for TLC content is public service uh, sure. advertising, right? And so what is the norm then, uh, PSAs out there? Sure, like, so I mean, like if you take a look at Link NYC, for instance, right, they're running a lot of different programs with the New York SBS, Small Business Services, promoting programs like Link Local. In fact, we had some artwork displayed on Art on Link to promote that in New York City. So we're very supportive of, you know, hyper-local businesses that might have gotten their you know, business discovered on TikTok in a commercial corridor and leveraging that content and hyper-locally targeting on our platform and reusing that content. But that would be for natural content discovery, i.e. let the best content win um, that's most engaging, right? Versus fixing it on a 15% must come from this content source. And it's highly, and content is expensive to produce, right? I think we all have to realize that, you know, getting fresh real-time content all the time it's another you know, constraint that we see. Right, and so typically, uh, similar to the TPEP systems or the technology systems, uh, the Mayor's Office of Media and Entertainment handles some of those uh, components, right? And they keep, so it's, we say TLC content, right? But the PSAs are managed through that office typically. And it has worked uh, in the thousands of taxis uh, throughout New York City. Understood. I think the line is mandating it versus making it optional. If this is the content that passengers want to watch, then providers will optimize for that, right? So I think just fixing it to an arbitrary 15%, um, you know, versus letting right. market but forces. What we're work. saying in this rulemaking is that there should be a public benefit to uh, allowing for advertisers uh, to enter into this market. 
And, Understood. And, that, and that, that, that's our point with that. Yeah, so I think just, you know, a comp would be that link local. It's not 15% of the link NYC content. It's a smaller fraction. But I think just making it optional for providers uh, versus mandating it specifically as part of the 37 pages. All right, we'll take a look. Any other comments or concerns? Here? I have one question. Sure. So if the 15% is too much, what would be a, an acceptable percentage, would you say, if that would, you had an input on that? You know, I guess working backwards, right? What is the objective of this, right? Is it to provide a public benefit for organizations, for airtime, et cetera? Or is it actually providing the content that people want to engage with to maximize driver earnings? And so I think, you know, in that latter bucket, it leaves it up to the provider, uh, depending on, and ultimately the performance standard based on whatever the rev share is to the driver and letting the driver select from that vibrant marketplace of solutions. Assuming there's no real answer to that, it is a, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a combination of people coming together on what's reasonable. What would you say would be acceptable? Just not holding you to it, just get an idea, because there is going to be some public benefit necessary communication. So what would be? Would it be seven and a half percent? Would it be half of that? I mean, I think those are all, all arbitrary, right? I think at the end of the day, if you optimize on content engagement, we'll be able to pull that from hyperlocal businesses automatically. So, you know. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at your written comments. Thank you so much for your time today. Appreciate Thank you so much. Our next